Prime Inc. gets 28%. The lease op gets 72%. That's crazy. Like the operator's doing all the work. They're the ones paying the payments on the truck. Traditional view of success in trucking is owning a hood truck, being your own owner operator, being your own boss, you calling the shots 100%. Comes with a lot of overhead and a lot of cost. People don't have that type of capital to start at that level. If you wanna be a millionaire in trucking, you start with a billion dollars, you could really slip up. Guys, Freight Skaters back again. Got my good friend Brian Brooks with me. He's the creator of a web-based software that is a trucking accounting platform to maximize your profitability called OTR on the revenue. Go to OTR.com and click the link to sign up today and get a free 30-day trial. After that, it's only $15 a month. This one here, man, is something that most people don't really take into consideration. So when you're talking about lease and owner op, okay, it's two very similar uh, career paths within the trucking industry that you can take. Obviously, the owner op side, you have, if you're a true owner op, you run under your own DOT and MC numbers, you carry your own insurance, you acquire your own permits, you take care of your own brokers, uh, you deal with your own brokers, you deal with your own customers. Um, everything is your responsibility, okay? Down to every minute, to every dime, everything. Um, you have to deal with your factoring, whether you're gonna get paid, you know, that week, next month, six months, whatever. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. And a lot of people don't realize that. The traditional view of success in trucking is owning a hood truck, being your own owner operator, being your own boss, you calling the shots 100%, okay? The problem with that is it comes with a lot of overhead and a lot of cost. And generally speaking, people don't have that type of capital to start at that level when you start talking about coming into the trucking industry. So there's an old saying, you've probably heard it, if you wanna be a millionaire in trucking, you start with a billion dollars, well, you could really slip up. Not a lot of people have the cash to go out and buy a truck, get their own DOT and MC number, get their own insurance and just run right out and start making money. You don't have established brokers you're dealing with, you don't have established customers, your DOT number's not established. There's actually a time frame, okay, of maturing that that DOT number needs to go through before brokers and shippers and receivers will actually, and customers will actually trust you as an operator, as an owner operator. So guys, we're gonna talk about today about the revenue sharing that goes on with leasing. And why do lease operators pay Prime Inc. 28%? And what are they getting for it in return? So as a lease operator at Prime Inc., when you talk about the actual revenue for a load, the 100% revenue, the lease op gets 72% and the, the carrier, which is Prime Inc., gets 28%, all right? Well, you would think to yourself like, man, that's crazy. Like the operator's doing all the work, they're the ones paying the payments on the truck, you know, but there are some differences, okay? We we have to have the same things owner operators have, but we're kind of piggybacking off of Prime a little bit. So there's, there's strength in numbers and there's also discounts in numbers. So we're gonna talk about what you actually get for that 28%. So to start off with, you're gonna get to use one of the oldest and most established DOT numbers in America. Prime's DOT number is a four digit number. Most DOT numbers now are eight digits, okay? You're talking about 3706 is our DOT number. You go to any truck stop in America, okay, you talk to any customer, any broker, and you mention Prime, they know exactly who you're talking about. And you're not talking about Amazon, okay? They know exactly who you're talking about Prime Inc. And I can tell you this, you know, a lot of people cut on Prime, but you talk to any of these old cats out here, they'll tell you, back in the day, you saw Prime coming up in your left mirror view mirror, you got out of the way really quick, because you're gonna get mowed down. Obviously, when you're back in the good old days, we're right up here in 2024, we're running aero trucks that are automatics and are governed to 65. So that's the first benefit. Number, number two is the lease program itself. 
The lease program itself is, is such a great way to get into the business side of the industry with little to no risk whatsoever. Not only is it a great way to get into the industry with minimum to no cost to the actual operator, you have perks like forgiven truck payments, retention and rewards programs, ACE lease down payment reduction, paid downtime due to warranty issues, service and safety bonuses and awards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's not like Prime just gives you a contract says, hey, you're running our freight, that's it. You're not an employee, we're not doing anything for you. You're just as part of the Prime culture as an employee is, as a company driver is. Next, we've got new equipment. Prime keeps their equipment up to date all the time. Everything from the trucks, the trailers, it's constantly acquired and it's constantly renewed and upgraded. Guys, you're never gonna see anything more than five, four to five years generally on a trailer. Um, they're constantly phasing out old equipment. The trucks, uh, they, they like to keep them anywhere between the five and seven year mark. Uh, so guys, you're always gonna have new equipment available to you 100% of the time. We're gonna talk about the constant contract freight with minimal rate change. And if the rates do change, nine times out of 10, they're going up. They fluctuate slowly with the market, but they do steadily rise. So when contracts go into renegotiation, Prime's not renegotiation, renegotiating for a lower rate, especially with existing customers. They're like, hey, we're a proven entity. All right, let's 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 bring that rate up a little bit. If you're satisfied with our service, you know, we need to kind of adjust and get a little bit more money. So Prime is always reaching out to their customers and trying to improve on our end so we can gain those higher rates in the long run. So there's not, uh, there's not a lot of uh, continuous sitting. I mean, you could pretty much, it's pretty much a sure thing you're gonna stay loaded and stay making money. There's no extra dispatcher or broker fees, okay? So when you're talking about um, being an owner operator, when you're dealing with brokers or, or uh, try to have somebody that's actually you're using as a dispatcher that finds your loads for you, you're having to pay these people to do this stuff. Nobody's cutting you a favor, okay? When you're paying 28% to Prime, this is what you get. You have your own dedicated fleet manager slash dispatcher, okay? And you're not paying them anything extra other than what is your 28%. You have 24 seven dispatch and sales available to you and load availability. We've dropped them in midnight before and got a load in 30 minutes. So guys, you're not waiting all the time. There are instances, obviously, depending on the area you're in and how the loads are shifting. You might have to wait a few hours for a load, but you're not sitting there for days on end waiting for freight. There's no extra factoring service fees. So when you talk about factoring, for those of you who are not familiar with this, uh, if you're owner operator and you don't have a factoring service set up that runs your revenue payments back through them, what a factoring service does is when you haul a load for a customer, a customer might have it set up for a 90 day payout, okay? So your customer is not gonna pay you out for 90 days. Well, you go to that factoring service, they deal with the customer. The customer takes that money and they pay the factoring service. Well, the factoring service pays you up front. Depends on how you have it set up. You could have it set up weekly, bi-weekly, whatever. But you're not waiting that 60 to 90 days that the customer wants to pay. The factoring service takes a cut of the revenue, okay? And then it goes ahead and pays you out. That's another cost to an owner operator. We don't pay any extra factoring fees. Our settlements are paid out every Friday as a, as a lease ops or independent contractors. And our payroll runs Wednesday to Wednesday. So Wednesday at 1600 Central Time to Wednesday 1600 Central Time. Prime acquires all necessary permits. This could be like really painstakingly annoying, like, and very costly, okay? So as an owner op, depending on where you run, how you run, what you run, you there's basically a permit for everything. Every state has its own set permits, whether it's an alcohol permit, uh, a certain type of oversized freight permit, whatever the case may be, a sticker, anything that you gotta have running through that state. A lot of states have their own set permits and you gotta have them to run in these certain states. Prime take cuts you cuts you out of the equation. They go ahead and provide everything for you for a fee that's generally roughly, you're looking at about hundred bucks a week for your permit cost. They do all that hard work for you and just take it out automatically out of your settlement. The tax is automatically audited at Prime, no extra cost. They do it every three to four weeks. So if the tax is kind of like income tax, we really need to do a video on this, but the more you pay in, you fill up, fill in up with those states with the high IFTA tax, okay, it'll cover the other states that you didn't win. So the more you pay in, the more you get back. Well, every three to four weeks, you'll either get a reimbursement or you'll get a deduction depending on how you fueled. Prime does all that at no extra cost to you. They do it automatically. You're not having to pay a CPA or some fuel expert to do this kind of stuff. You don't have a separate auditor. You don't have a separate fee. Prime, it's all included. Prime handles all your insurance acquisitions at discounted rates. My insurance costs me 123 bucks a week. That covers the truck, trailer, everything. So the freight, all of it. So 123 bucks a week, 
you're looking at uh, monthly about 500 bucks um, compared to, I've heard some owner operators out here with single truck operations paying five to 75, $5,000 to $7,500 a month. It's ridiculous. It's, it's really an extortion racket, insurance is. And they know it, you gotta have it to run. So with Prime, that 28% gets you that huge discounted rate on insurance as well. It comes to your trailer. As an owner operator, you want a trailer, right? You gotta haul that freight. So you're gonna have to pay for it. You're gonna have to pay a trailer payment. You're gonna have to pay for all the maintenance on it. You have to pay for all the insurance on it. it comes at a pretty hefty price. Well, at Prime, there's no extra trailer or maintenance or insurance fees. Plus, there's reefer fuel reimbursement for your first fill on the reefers if you're a reefer driver, load lock reimbursement for reefer drivers. All your trailer washes and washouts are paid by Prime. You don't pay any of that stuff at all. Along with more reimbursements, which let's talk about the lumber fees, unloading fees, any extra fees that come to do with that load, whether it's a certain special permit, all that stuff is paid by Prime. You don't touch any of that stuff. You might have a small com data fee just for using the fuel fuel card transaction or express code transaction, like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. But you don't pay any of these 300, 400, 500 dollar lumber fees at all. Let's talk about uh, something else that comes with the truck. Easy pass, best pass, and drive wise. All that's provided here for you, for your truck. Okay, it's already established for the operator's use. You pay, if you have a little fees, you have to pay for this stuff, obviously. But when it comes to the easy pass tolls, best pass tolls, it's all discounted rates. Um, your Qualcomm usage is, is, is minimum to no. I mean, it's, it's like hardly nothing at all per week. A couple bucks a week to use your Qualcomm, to have your, ELD, your, your ELDs on the Qualcomm. I mean, it's, it's all accessible to you. You're not having to go out and outsource this stuff and find it. There's nationwide fuel, tire, and repair discounts that are available to us nationwide through thousands of vendors. Um, we have designated vendor reps, okay, nationwide. Also at the terminals and dealers that we deal with, designated dealers that we deal with that, that know us, Peterbilt, Freightliner, TA, Loves, etc. Guys, we have uh, I, my best friend, Brian Brooks, that developed OTR. He needed a one box for his truck. Well, he was told by the dealer, or by one of the dealers that, hey, it's gonna be like a six month wait. It's gonna be like $12,000. And he said, well, let me call my let me call my maintenance, I mean, uh, my road assist to find out what we can do. Road assist calls that dealer and says, hey man, we're, that guy's a prime. Like we really gotta have it. Uh, he says, okay, well, next thing you know, a few days later, one box shows up and it's eight grand. Guys, there's a lot of perks to being here at Prime. I mean, there's a lot of setups that we have, a lot of discounts we have. You can end up getting cut rates and huge discounts and huge time frames, and put it at the top of a lot of lists just by being here at Prime. Like I said, you're talking about a company that's been here for over 50 years already, very established. Back to going back to Road Assist, you've got 24 seven Road Assist available to you. When you break down, someone's coming, okay? I mean, it's 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 not something you gotta wait overnight on. As soon as something happens to your truck, your trailer, something, if you're in a jam, you send out that macro and call contact Road Assist, they got somebody on the way to uh, alleviate whatever's going on with you guys. So there's some companies out there, I'm not gonna call any names, you blow a tire, your SOL till 95 starts, man. You're gonna be sitting there till daytime until somebody can answer the phone. So Prime's not like that. It's a 24 seven operation, just like you are out on the road. The Prime mobile app, man, I cannot talk about this thing enough. This thing is a one-stop shop everyday tool for drivers. Um, it's included everything from Prime and for Prime. And it's constantly being progressive, uh, progressively upgraded and updated all the time. This thing is a must have if you're here at Prime. A lot of companies have their own little apps. This thing is so in depth. You can see everything from your hours of service on it to your progress and whatever retention and awards for your lease program that you're in to the to classes and training that you need to take to your truck service, your trailer service that's required. Everything, your loads, your revenue, your fuel transactions, your invoices for work, uh, stuff you have done at the shops, anything that's been billed to you it's all there in that Prime app. That thing is amazing. Along with the news updates and fuel updates that they send out every single day, every single week, that fuel, that that Prime app is, you can't, I, we can't live without it out here. That is truly a huge benefit being out here. Prime has a lot of education classes and courses, okay? And most of them are paid. I mean, they pay you to take these classes. You end up getting these little bonuses. You end up getting these deferred truck payments while you're there. They'll pay you to have breakfast and lunch and dinner. Sometimes they'll put you up in, in in rooms and stuff like that. I mean, it's insane what the, the links they'll go through to get you to actually expand your knowledge about the industry, expand your knowledge about Prime and how they do things. So that's a huge, huge benefit there as well. They have their own health and fitness program. So, I mean, it's, uh, guys, when you start talking about your health out here on the road, it's huge. 
it, it's a big deal trying to keep yourself healthy out here. Prime supports that 100%. So they have actually people on site and you can reach out to them, email them any day of the week and get advice. They have programs in place for you to sign up for. It's all at no extra cost to you. 24 seven fuel desk support. They've also, like I said, they've got daily updates and fuel surcharge updates uh, through the app. Um, say you're out of network somewhere and you don't, you're in the middle of nowhere, but there's a little mom and pop fuel station there. They're not on our network. You call the fuel desk 24 seven. They'll open up your comm data card. If they accept comm data, you can get fuel there. So you always have some kind of support 24 seven, no matter what. Medical insurance is available. Medical and sub, uh, subsidiary insurance is available for independent contractors. Prime keeps their own reps on staff for this. Uh, and you can get uh, major medical, you can get disability, vision, dental, all that stuff for the independent contractors as a lease operator. So guys, all that stuff's there available to you if you wanna check it out. There's three 24 seven staffed major terminals nationwide. You've got Piston, Pennsylvania, Springfield, Missouri, and Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, these terminals are fully loaded with all kinds of amenities, showers, truck shops, truck parts, detail, washes, gyms, movie theaters, basketball courts, company stores, on-site physicians, mail rooms, chiropractors, the salon and spa, massage therapists, 24 seven cafes, driver lounge areas with pool tables, ping pong tables, 24 seven laundry that is super cheap. I'm talking about 50 cent a load laundry. It's ridiculous. Tax services on site, free shuttle services available at the terminals, bunk rooms available for extended stays while your truck's in the shop. If you think it, it's probably at a terminal, okay? It's insane the amount of amenities that are available to drivers at these terminals. I mean, it's wild. And yes, I know a lot of people are gonna say, and I'm one of them, I can't, make, I can't pay my bills, I can't pay my mortgage sitting in a terminal. But guys, when you gotta go through there, it's insanely awesome to have something like that available to your use, to everybody's use, and not just sitting in a dirt lot next to a single wide trailer. Okay guys, it's a, it's a big difference. When you, it's another place to really call home. Also, along with the terminals, we have a multitude of nationwide drop yards and sub facilities that are readily available for drivers and their needs. Guys, if you're going home and there's a drop yard within 100 miles and you can get there before 24 hours before that load's due, you can drop that load there, have Prime repower it, and, and go ahead and go on home. I mean, we have sites everywhere across the nation where you can do that. The driver accessibility factor with those drop yards are huge. And even we have some customers that we're coinciding with business-wise where we can actually drop in their lots as well. Uh, independent contractor operators can set up an emergency fund. You can set it up per mile, a set amount, a percentage amount per week. Uh, this accounts with Prime. In return, Prime pays an interest weekly on those funds. Now, right now you can accumulate 5.43% interest APR at the moment. So that's a huge deal, man. We're actually paying you to Hold your money in an e-fund account for your use, which you have access to whenever you need to. You can have it loaded on your data card or you can have it loaded on your payroll statement. It takes a quick message to payroll, and they'll get it approved and it's done like instantly. So if you put it on your statement, obviously you won't get it till Friday. If you put it on your data card, it's usually same day within an hour. So it's a, it's a pretty nice little perk guys and you're getting paid to have an e-fund. Most companies require it. You have an e-fund, an emergency fund, and they don't pay you nothing for it. They just hold your money. So, and sometimes it is super hard to get it back. So that's a huge perk as well. Prime throws Christmas parties, yearly picnics, truck shows, etc. There's a lot of different events that are catered towards the drivers, not to mention highway diamond galas, million mile dinners. All this stuff is geared towards the drivers, company and lease operators, independent contractors. Guys, even though you're an independent contractor and you're considered a 1099, you're not an employee, you're still eligible for all of these perks. This is just another testament to this company caring about its drivers. They don't have to do this stuff, just like the holiday incentive. They didn't have to do that stuff either. But guys, they do it just to give back to the drivers and let them know that they do care and they are looking out for our best interest. Prime culture, culture as a whole. Prime has its own culture built up. I mean, I've never seen a trucking company that has as proud of drivers as it has. I mean, we get a lot of flag out here on the road. We really do. People talk trash. I mean, that's the whole reason I have the Hades because they ain't us uh, series. But you got to think, there's there's like 10,000 associates that are prime proud. There are actually prime drivers out here who turn their nose up to some of you owner operators out here. I mean, we really do. I mean, it's, it's a proud culture family type thing. They're kind of like the mafia. When you're in, you're in. When you're out, you're out. It's one of those type of things. But that culture is a huge thing. That camaraderie is, is a huge for these drivers, for operators and company drivers alike. 
And it's as close to a family unit as a company's ever going to be, in my opinion, to be honest with you. I mean, it really has that kind of a feel. And I know people say, well, I'm not here for family. I'm here to make money. Guys, it is a nice perk. And when you, when you come to those terminals and you're there and you're around that whole fellowship of drivers, it does feel, it feels homey, man. It feels like home. So the last thing I'm going to say about, about what you're getting for your 28% as a lease independent contractor here at Prime, you can be successful however you want to be successful, okay? No matter what avenue you choose to take your business down, Prime's there to help you to be successful the way you want to be. There's not been one time in my seven years here at Prime where I have asked Prime for something or said, hey, I've been thinking about trying to do this, or what do you think about this? And then just say, no, we're not doing that. I don't think so. They've always been like, hey, let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can make this happen. They're very open-minded in a very progressive company. Like I've always said in a lot of my videos, guys, they're not a perfect company, but no company is perfect. The only company that's perfect is the one that works best for you, is allowing you to accomplish your goals, and is getting you where you want to get to in this industry, okay? Prime can be that company. And there's a lot of opportunity here, and it makes sense. If you're struggling out there and you don't know what to do or where to start, I think this is your best foot forward here to start in the industry. But I also think it's a great change for somebody who wants a fresh start somewhere else that already is an experienced driver. Now that you know what you're getting for your 28% here at Prime, when you're talking about being an independent contractor, let's talk about what's not included. A lot of times people won't really talk about this stuff. And this is not saying anything bad about Prime, but this is what you should not expect when you come into Prime. A full load board access. You cannot, you really cannot truly self plan yourself here at Prime. Okay, and the reason this is in place is because they've made promises to their customers. They've said, hey, we can fulfill this demand that you're requesting. So guys, if everybody had access to all the loads, some of these demands might not get met at these customers and they've got to service these customers. So it makes sense. Does it suck? Yes, it sucks. Sometimes it would be fantastic to have a full load board. But guys, I can tell you, Prime's here to make sure that everybody's successful. And somehow when it seems like everything's going wrong, it always seems to work out. I don't know how it does. I don't know how they manage to do it. And I think a lot of people forget that there's a lot of cogs in the system that make this clock tick. So there's a lot of people at play in your everyday like travels and every single day that your challenges and everything that you face, there's a lot of people at play that are helping you overcome and accomplish these, these challenges and be successful. Only utilize Prime's freight options. This is another thing that, that is kind of like, wow, man, I really wish you could just jump on a load board, like a DAT board or trucker path or something and just pull a load if they don't have a load ready for you right then. It would be fantastic. But guys, unfortunately, you're limited to Prime's freight options. So that's just the way, the way it is. That's what they've got available to you, which is not bad because they always have freight. Sometimes things are getting slow, especially in the past few months. But guys, I mean, generally, you never stop moving. Limited truck options. This is because they have certain manufacturers they deal with, particularly Peterbilt and Freightliner and International. You're not gonna see some, you're not gonna be able to come in and order a Long Nose 389 or a KW900, it's not gonna happen. So they deal with certain trucks based on the dimensions and weights. So your lengths and your weights and everything, they wanna keep it at a certain level so they can keep everything legal all the time. The fuel mileage as well is a huge deal. It makes sense. Also age restrictions. Even if we buy this truck that we're in right now, in five to six years, they could tell us, hey man, it's a little too old for the fleet. We're gonna have to get it out of there. So that's gonna force us to either get our truck out of the fleet and move somewhere else outside of Prime or sell it and buy another truck, which I don't wanna go anywhere. I really don't. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff here, but I mean, you know, the only time will tell. So it just depends on whatever avenue that you're trying to go down to be successful, where it's gonna aim you at and figure out what's best for you. Uh, you also have to abide by prime set safety features and requirements. So if they've got the on guard systems and lane detection and all this stuff, it's got to be on your trucks. You know what I'm saying? So you come into prime, even if you bring your own truck, there's still certain things they're going to want you to abide by and certain procedures are going to want you to abide by. Uh, there's no manual trucks unless you order one specially with $25,000 down. You are not going to come in and lease a truck that's a manual. I can promise you, unless you order it yourself, okay? Which is a 30 day window before you can order anything. I don't know anybody that's fresh coming into the industry that can order, that can throw down 25K on a manual truck. So you gotta think about it. Plus, if you come into Prime to get your CDL, you're already gonna have an automatic restriction on you anyways. So $25,000 probably be better money spent somewhere else. And to be typically honest with you, my automatic has spoiled me anyways. I 
would rather be in an automatic than a straight shift truck any day of the week, especially stuck in Atlanta traffic. Another thing that sucks, only super single tires on all of their lease trucks. Um, duals can be installed once the truck's paid for. Uh, it, Which we are definitely doing. We are definitely doing, uh, we're definitely doing a dual upgrade. Um, I, I had one tire blow out in seven years and it, Man, it burnt me bad. I mean, I hate these super singles with a passion. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six things that are cons, okay? And we have a multitude of pros for what you get for your 28% here at Prime. Doesn't matter what carrier you go to, a least based carrier that you're gonna go to, you're gonna pay this money to them. It might be 25%, it might be 30%, it might be 22%, 10%. it might be 10%. But guys, you have to pay that person something to use their numbers and run under their authority. What are you getting for that that you're paying them? Have you ever asked yourself that? Like, and what are you, how much is it costing you extra to be that independent owner operator completely? Guys, most people don't know their numbers. They don't know what it's costing them every single week to run that truck. If I was a true owner operator, I would definitely have it knocked down to a penny. So when we're talking about our overhead as a independent contractor with Prime, we're sitting at roughly just up under $1,700 a week to, to operate this truck with a brand new truck. That's payments, permits, everything. That's our overhead. So once this truck is paid off, we're gonna be looking at about 300 bucks a week to, to operate this truck every single week. That's amazing, okay? Guys, so you gotta look at what you're getting. How much are you gonna spend to get that extra 28% of revenue back in your pocket? Are you gonna spend 25% of it to get an extra 3% and then deal with all the headache? Is it really worth it? When you put it in that kind of perspective, it kind of makes sense. So guys, thanks so much for watching today. I, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. I know it's been a while since we dropped a video. Hopefully this one actually hits home with you. If you're looking forward to leasing at Prime, you'll see right here, There's you click up here in the top corner, there's plenty, you can go apply there. Uh, there's also Prime's websites listed down in the description below. Go check them out, guys. Read up about them. Find out what's going on. There's a reason this company's been in business for 50 years, and it's not because they're out here screwing drivers and just making them pay off trucks. So, once again, stay safe, stay focused, stay loaded. God bless. Freight Skater out.